Early on in his career, Calder was working with wire. And then he came upon this idea of making his sculptures kinetic. He famously said, why must art be static? This is a quintessential Calder. When you think about the revolution of Calder and creating these works that are moving through space, that are mobiles, that are balanced and counterbalanced and full of movement and life, this is exactly what he is known for. This is the revolution that he created in 20th century sculpture. It is my pleasure today to talk about Alexander Calder's monumental, untitled sculpture from 1949. This work was actually a commission. He came to Rio de Janeiro and in 1949 created this spectacular piece for a client of Enrique Mindlin's named George Heim. It was beautifully installed in this modernist home. Calder was all the rage in Brazil and a lot of clientele of Mindlin's and others really wanted Calder's. All of Calder's sculptures are precisely engineered, and there's always an interesting play with balance. And in this piece, you almost have two levels where you have planar forms and vertical forms that counteract as the sculpture moves. It's really poetry in motion. Calder's mobiles really define their surrounding space, and there's always a beautiful play of shadows on the wall. But the thing about it is, is they're a little bit unpredictable. Calder's pieces are very often organic. The forms loosely come from nature, but yet reinterpreted and remixed into their own composition, they become something new entirely. One of the most striking things about the sculpture is really its dramatic scale. It is majestic in its span. It's composed of 15 pieces of sheet metal that have been cut into biomorphic forms and then connected with wire into this beautiful composition that just cascades from the ceiling down. The entire framework of the sculpture is black and then there's one red element. And the other thing which is so fantastic about it is that two of the pieces on different levels are perforated. Calder liked the perforations because it not only enlivened the surface of the sculpture, but it created the aerodynamics that made it move through space. These sculptures are very handmade. He loved working in sheet metal and would cut out these shapes, and then they'd be painted and then attached to wires and engineered into the ultimate composition. Alexander Calder was an artist who truly revolutionized contemporary sculpture. He imagined the role and function of sculpture in a very different way. Sculpture was something that sat on a pedestal that was anchored to the floor. He found a different space for sculpture to operate in. The piece is beautifully composed. Its arcing forms, its span are really something that are incredibly beautiful to look at.